Hey everybody, my name is Alan and I run The Artful Bear. So I decided for my second video, I'm going to take you through making one of my gold galaxy trays. So when I start the tray, it's just a simple gold tray like so. And what I love about these trays is they have a lip at the edge, so you don't have to worry about resin running off the side. Anyone who is working with resin knows how expensive it can be. So any waste is too much waste. So these trays are great because they have that dip in there where basically it will hold the resin. So it makes a really good um, material to work with for any sort of resin tray. And it's stainless steel, so it's really sturdy. So we're gonna go through the process of turning this into a galaxy tray. Uh, stick with me, you might learn something. If you do like the video, share the video, uh, obviously subscribe and follow me on Instagram, which will be linked in the description. So. Let's get going. So when you're ready to start mixing your resin, obviously then we go into safety. So gloves are on, gonna go for the mask. Obviously it won't be able to really understand me once this is on. Maybe you can still hear a little bit, but mask on, goggles. And last but not least, hoodie. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is all the materials you're going to need to make this. So obviously we have the tray is ready to go. We have a solid surface that is level. You need to make sure it's level. It's really important. Use a level stick thing, uh, leveler, whatever you call it. Um, make sure it's level because if it's uneven, the resin is going to flow. So obviously that's going to be step number one. Then we're going to need gloves. Obviously safety first. You want to make sure your hands are covered. You don't want resin getting on your hands. So gloves are very important and a mask, which you don't see here, but I do have my mask. Then obviously we need our resin. So this is the resin I'm using at the moment. It is premium epoxy resin with Just For You Online UK. I like this, it works very well. There's not much of an odor, which is great because there's nothing worse than a really smelly resin. Uh, measuring, I like it, it works well. So this is my go-to resin. Um, on top of that, then we need colors. So how are we gonna create the galaxy? So the base I use is Jet Black. Again, it's a pigment paste from Just For You Online UK. It's the one I found that gives the most opaque color. It's completely solid, so really nice black. And then what I have been using are these mica powders from Arteza. So again, when you're making a galaxy, it's gonna be a mix of blues, green, sometimes purple, depending on what way you wanna do it. So I like to mix a couple of the blues. Um, there's an ice blue and then there is just a bright blue. There's lettuce green, which is supposed to look like lettuce. Uh, but now I also have new pigments from Just For You Online UK. So sapphire blue, it's a really nice uh, solid blue. And then the best part is the spiced gold. I don't know if you can actually read it, it won't focus. Spiced gold, floating pigment powder again, Just For You Online UK. This is what gives that really nice gold color throughout the pieces I've been making. So again, you need to kind of work with yourself, figure out what colors you want to use. And that's pretty much it. The last couple of things are going to be obviously a blowtorch for getting rid of bubbles, a heat gun for moving around the color. You can see how messy I am. This is already in bits. And then obviously cups and stirring sticks. I would say uh, I'm a bad example. Try and use uh, silicone cups and stirring sticks because obviously it's less waste. Resin creates a lot of waste, so we want to try and minimize that. So that's pretty much my setup. Let's get into making the tray. Believe me, I tried to comprehend.
I wanted, I kept it all I ever wanted.